tackling a franchise like uh, like Halloween is, is very complicated because people are very emotionally connected to it. They have real feelings of what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And sadly, everyone doesn't agree on those things. David deliberately distinguished the second movie from the first. There are a few lighter moments. The kills are broader. Even within the three movies, each one needs to distinguish itself from the prior one. It has to be connected with enough feeling so that it feels like it makes sense as a part two, but it has to be individual and unique enough that it doesn't feel like you're repeating the first movie. So I think De David deliberately made those choices, some of them are even tonal, to distinguish the second movie from the first. What do we do? We fight. Let's hunt him down. I think David was I influenced by, you know, people driven by misinformation. And I think social media, particularly lately, there's kind of one wild idea and everyone piles on and no one really thinks too much before they do. I and mean, I certainly think those, those things play out in, uh, in this second movie that David made. The kind of movies we produce, I think first and foremost, what's most important to me is that the movies are super scary and great and well-made and exciting and get your heart pumping. Past that, it's always interesting if they, in, in addition to those things, have something to say about society. Now, if you pick something to say about society first, no one will go see the movie because they're missing all the reasons that they come into the theater. But if you can smuggle a, a thought about gun control as we did with The Purge or race as Jordan Peele did with Get Out or abusive male behavior as as Lee Wanell did with uh, with Invisible Man, it always makes it for more more interesting things. Some of our movies have that, some of them don't, but, uh, but there's a lot more to talk about when they do. Well, I think Halloween is like the James Bond of uh, of horror franchises, right? I don't know. I don't know a horror franchise that's had as many sequels, and so our trilogy will end with our third movie, and then somebody will come along and have a new idea, another another approach. My guess, my guess is, if history is any indication, and so we um, wanted to be mindful of that, but also wanted to be mindful of really having these three movies stand on their own. We haven't shot it yet, but in the script of the third movie really does a terrific job of concluding this this trilogy without concluding the, uh, the Halloween franchise. He does it in a very elegant way. I'm coming for you, Michael.